tired of the everyday grind? Want to get away from it all? Descent into Paradise. Florida. Greetings, everybody, from sunny Florida. Here's wishing you the best of everything. And it's my personal belief that the best of everything comes from right down here. Well, hey, everybody, this is Steph from JustTheDayInParadise.com, and thanks for tuning into this week's episode of Just a Podcast in Paradise. Me and the Dip Crew love living in the Sunshine State, and it's our goal to help you plan for your very own day in paradise. Follow along as we explore the Keys, Theme Park Springs, and everything in between. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button so we can notify you when our new episodes are live. Also, be sure to follow the links in our show notes to dive even deeper in the discussion and fun after the show. As you know, we're always going to have a drink with you, and today we're enjoying a virgin cocktail inspired by the classic Disney Dole Whip that I'm calling the Pineapple and I. We're ready if you are, so kick up your feet, throw on your shades, please stand clear of the doors, and let's take a trip to paradise. Well, hey there, everybody. And also, we have a special treat for you today. We have Lauren, the cool mom, on the hey. line with us. Hey, Lauren. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, it's going well. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Happy to have you. Thank you. There I, you go. You're Happy sort of like the unicorn of the dip crew. You only yeah. pop up every <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> I know. It's so unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Something about being the mom, whether you're cool or not. Yeah. Keeps you predisposed pretty often. <laughs> yeah, that's the downside. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, but the upside for this episode is that you're going to have a lot of pretty cool dip tips for us. Yes, yeah. lots of insider knowledge. <laughs> yeah, so be so before we get uh, to the topic for today, I wanted to go over what I'm sipping on. Oh. You're not. Because you're, yeah, no. yeah you're, I wish I could you're not in, actually in the studio with us, but you're going to have to use your imagination. <laughs> How perfect. <laughs> yeah, imagination. All right, so we've got our figment ears on. Uh, mm. I thought it would be appropriate for this week's episode, since it's a little more uh, family forward than usual, mm -hmm. uh, to make a drink that could be enjoyed whether you are... Uh, let's say uh, anywhere from solid foods and up, really. You're yeah. good to go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, what I did was I actually made like a Dole Whip popsicle. Uh, yeah. So it's pineapple, pineapple nectar, and sweetened condensed milk kind of blended mm. up together and then put in these really cool silicone uh, pineapple, or not pineapple molds, uh, silicone ice pop molds, <laughs> put those in the freezer and you can enjoy them uh -huh. one of two ways. One, as they are. Uh -huh. Two, uh -huh. put that sucker in a little glass of rum. Let it melt yeah. down, <laughs> suckle on it a little bit, you know, start to drown out uh, the kids and yeah. uh, you're good to go. <laughs> that sounds delightful. Yeah. Uh, you could probably even put it, if you didn't want to go rum, like maybe something uh, a little lighter, like a Prosecco or something like that, or a rosé. Uh -huh. you know? mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, and it's perfect um, since it's getting so hot outside. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so the cocktails need to get colder and colder uh, yeah. as, as summer <laughs> moves on. Um, yeah, we, and we named it Pineapple and I after one of my favorite spots in Walt Disney World, uh, the Polynesian Resort, right outside there, uh, there's a little uh, refreshment uh, area mm -hmm. called the Pineapple mm -hmm. and I. So that's love a it. little nod. Little yes, nod and to all Polynesia. I love it. Yep. Uh, uh, <laughs> so that brings us to the topic, the topic at hand. Uh, traveling to and staying at Walt Disney Resort, which you uh, actually yeah. did recently. Very recently, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Within the last few weeks. Yeah, so uh, that's one of the reasons why we wanted to have you on, too. We have been visiting Walt Disney Resort since back uh, before I can even really have solid memories. <laughs> yeah. uh, or solid foods. Or yeah. solid foods, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so uh, Walt Disney's Magic Kingdom, I don't know if you know this or not, located right here in Florida, is the most visited theme park in the world. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe that wholeheartedly. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Especially if you've been there recently and had to wait in line for anything. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Over 20.4 million people visit each year and the numbers uh, go up and up. All those mm-hmm. people need somewhere to stay. They need somewhere to sleep. And Walt Disney mm-hmm. Resort for sure has you covered. Now, I personally like to save money <laughs> and stay off property. Uh, But Mm. there's certainly a lot to be said for staying within the mouse city limits, especially if this is like a once or twice in a lifetime trip for you. Would you agree? Uh, I definitely agree. And as someone who lives like an hour and a half from Disney, I make a point. So I'm kind of the opposite of you in this regard. But I also get out uh, probably less frequently. (laughs) But I like to indulge and go all in and go ham at Disney. So we always stay at the resorts. And and we like to try new ones each time. Yeah, I think think that's uh, a great practice. And there's really something... Uh, for every budget. So uh, with 25 resorts and over 30,000 rooms, uh, deciding on where to stay can be a little bit stressful. But if you stayed in every single room each day, it would take you 68 years to stay in every room on property. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's a little <laughs> trivia for you. Uh, so don't I'm worry. Gonna need to, like, thin my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to thin the herd a little bit here for you. Uh, we're going to help you make a decision. We're going to tell you the pros and cons uh, of you know each resort and definitely each resort tier. Uh, after our break, we're going to go over some of our favorite resorts, tell you the pros and cons of each, and help you decide which Walt Disney World resort property is right for you. So, Lauren, let's take a quick break, and uh, we'll be right back. Steph, thanks for picking me up for drinks. No problem. I saw there's this new cocktail bar that just opened I thought we could try. That sounds fun. Here it is. Ooh, gosh, this place looks exotic. Wow, this place looks great. I feel like we've been transported to Havana or something. I know, the energy here is like electric. Let's grab a cocktail and get the party started. I think that's the bartender with her back to us. Excuse me, we would like a drink, please. Whoa, Alyssa, is that you? Oh, hey guys, I'm so happy to see you. Us too, but what are you doing here? Well, I found these bottles of Big Five Rum and I just felt inspired to start mixing things up, you know? So I make myself this cocktail. (laughs) Uh Uh-huh. It's amazing. And next thing I know, I'm in this awesome social club surrounded by all these hip people and everyone wants some of my quality libations, you know? Here, try this and you'll get it. Okay, bottoms up. Wow, Alyssa, this is incredible. Such bold flavors and quality ingredients. It makes me want to kick back and celebrate. No kidding. It's like a vacation in a glass. Alyssa, what's your secret? I'm telling you, it's the Big Five Rum, inspired by the social clubs of Havana in the 1950s. Big Five Rums embody the laid-back, upbeat energy of Cuba's bustling social scene. Oh, and it's made in Florida, you guys. Florida made. Cuban inspired. Enjoyed enjoyed anywhere. anywhere. Pick up a couple bottles and enjoy $5 off at BigFiveRum.com using promo code JUSTADIP. Cheers. 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 And we're back. And we're back. Uh, yeah, some of that big five coconut rum might be good with your pineapple Dole Whip mm-hmm. if you're feeling yeah. frisky. Uh, so, yeah, so first things first, I thought we could break down the benefits of staying on property in general, and then we can move into the different resort types. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, so let's kind of go down the line and we'll just kind of go tit for tat uh, things mm-hmm. that are pros for staying on Disney property. So why don't you go first since it's your, oh, you're our sure. special guest today. <laughs> Sounds great. So yeah, it was funny actually, because I was uh, speaking with Trent earlier for those who don't know, that's my husband. Um, and we, like I said, or like Seth said, we did recently go uh, to the parks and stay at the resort. Um, we specifically stay at the Coronado Springs, but we'll talk about that later. Um, <laughs> but I asked him as well, like, what was, what is his favorite part of staying at the resorts and being on property? And he 
you said, it was a feeling of being immersed in the magic. Mm. And I couldn't agree more. Like, the best, like, you can throw a million reasons why staying at Disney is amazing. But, like, the moment you get on property and you cross under the big, like, banner, the big, like, entry sign with Mickey and Minnie, and you all the signs change, everything's festive. It's, like, you know, purple and just fun. Like, the kids are all amped up. You go on Disney property, everyone is a cast member. So they mm-hmm. all have that world class uh, Disney customer service. So you just feel the entire time, like whether you're at the hotel or the park or Disney Springs, wherever, you just feel like you're at Disney. You don't feel like you're at a hotel and you have to go to the park to go to Disney. Like you just feel the entire time like you're surrounded by it. So that is for our family, I think, the hands down, like best part of it. You just have that happy go lucky feeling the entire time. Yep. Yeah, I totally agree. From the second you, even before you actually get on property, the magic begins. Whether Agreed. you know whether you're calling, I had to call um, guest service for whatever reason on our last trip. Oh, I think I was like booking uh, an excursion, and we're gonna talk about yeah. some cool ones that you can actually book. Uh, if you're staying at a resort, but the, first of all, they're so friendly, they're so helpful and knowledgeable, uh, but yeah. there's always those like little, I don't know, like Easter eggs or like little silly things that you're like, Oh my gosh, yeah. it's Disney, you know? Uh, so like yeah. when they were reading me my confirmation number, uh, and you know, mm. they use, I forget what it's called, but you know, when you use like words to substitute for the letter so that you make sure yeah. you're on the same page, they were like C for Cinderella, P for pixie dust. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> I love that yeah. so much, <laughs> you know. So it but really starts before it. you check exactly. in. Yeah, it is exactly. Anyone who speaks on the phone, um, anyone you interact with as a cast member, like their goal is to make you to make your stay magical, right? Yep. So you know, when you get to your room, you know, we when we went this last time, they had the Mickey Mouse ears, like uh, like the towels made into the shape of Mickey Mouse ears. Like if you go on a cruise ship, like how they do that kind mm-hmm. of thing. So it's like you have Mickey towel shapes on the bed. We have, you know, our Mickey Mouse wake up call in the morning. Like everything from the moment you wake up to like the moment you go to bed is just fun and exciting, you know, and just completely Disney immersed. Yeah, you know, and I I don't know if they're still doing this now with COVID. Everything's a a little bit different. But I know in the past, uh, they would go as far as like if you brought home like little plushies or toys, you know, from the park and you leave and then housekeeping comes and makes up or I think it's mousekeeping uh, comes and (laughs) makes up makes up your room. They'll put the toys in like silly, you know, situations. And like I've seen like Pluto attacking the toilet paper. Uh, You know, there's all (laughs) sorts of fun little touches that just remind you why it made sense to spend a little extra you know money per night yeah exactly totally agree. yeah yeah and we one time i want to say this was like the last time or two we went um you know they had a little snafu with like a room where it was like oh we didn't have this exact one you wanted available or like it was ready 30 minutes late like something that was so insignificant and when we got in the room they had a little pin for each of us so it was like me trent and zoe at the time and yeah, they gave us three pins. Um, that one was like Goofy, one was Pluto, one was Mickey. I'm like, oh my gosh, how sweet is that? And we still have them, you know? Oh, that's cute. Yeah, those little keepsakes are always going to be yeah. uh, really exciting. And then the pin trading everywhere, so you could do stuff with that, which, I mean, we don't get that deep, but I know a lot of people do. <laughs> people are obsessed with pin trading. And, and yeah. truly, it, it's a pretty, as far as souvenirs go, uh, especially yeah. if you're going to be a frequent visitor to the parks, it's a pretty... Um, it, acutely inexpensive hobby to get into. I think in the long term, yeah. you might get, yeah. you, you might turn into an investment, but it's a, it's a nice mm-hmm. way uh, to bring home a pretty inexpensive uh, souvenir and the resorts yeah. are going to have their own uh, special ones. Yeah. Yeah. They do. Yeah. yeah. So speaking mm-hmm. of magic, <laughs> I think one of the cool parts of staying at a resort is the magic bands. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Let's talk about magic. Yeah. So why don't you tell, you're a little bit more versed in what you get uh, as a hotel stayer or a resort yeah. uh, guest. So tell us yeah. how the magic bands kind of work throughout the resort. So yeah, um, it was a little bit different pre COVID. Um, but now, you know, if you're kind of grandfathered into the magic band system, um, you can bring your old ones and basically use it same as you always have. Um, but basically, you know, back in the before times, um, they would mail you your magic bands to your house. So you pick them on the app when you book your hotel or your resort room and each person can pick like a different color. They come in the mail and they're all magical. It comes in this like awesome, 
box that like opens up and they're presented neatly to you. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's so fun to open. So it's like, oh, magic's on the way. So they just get you worked up for the park and the, you know, your whole stay and everything. Um, so you open the box. Each one has each person's name on the back. So you can't mix them up. They're all linked to you, whatever. But basically it acts as your key to the world, essentially. So you use it as your room key. So you just put your wrist up to the door. It unlocks it. Um, anywhere on Disney property. So this could be uh, your resort, the park. I think maybe even Disney Springs. I would have to come Yeah, that, some but... places in Disney Springs, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it depends. Um, you use your Magic Band like as your credit card. So it's all linked to your room stay. Um, so you just get one nice neat bill at the end that's itemized, which is really nice, especially like, you know, it's easy to spend while you're at Disney. Yeah, <laughs> and especially they make it easier. Will... They sure do. <laughs> <laughs> but the plus side is you're not going to lose your credit card on a roller coaster or in a bag somewhere or, you know, forget it when you're at the pool and like, oh, gosh, it was in my purse. It's not my bathing suit. You know, you just always have your magic band on wherever you go and it's waterproof like you take it around. So it's very, very efficient. And um, like I said, for those of us who are a little more type A, it gives you a nice little itemized thing at the end of your set. Yes, I love that. And you can get so many neat uh, magic band covers. You can get yeah. upgraded magic bands. And, yeah. you know, it's not just like the Disney IP, but there's Marvel magic bands and Star Wars magic yeah. bands. I mean, you can really go yeah. nuts. Yeah, like whatever you're into. So the basic ones, you know, are just like, you know, you can select the basic primary colors or whatever, you know, like from the rainbow. But yeah, if you want like your daughter's obsessed with Belle, you know what? You can go get her a Belle Magic Band. <laughs> yes. Mom of the year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. So so speaking of being type A, uh, which mm-hmm. uh, I definitely am when it comes to vacation <laughs> planning. Uh, you sure are. <laughs> uh, I think uh, one of my favorite parts about staying at a resort or a Disney resort mm-hmm. is the ability to be able to start planning a little bit sooner. So back mm-hmm. when Fast Pass Plus uh, was available, uh, and it's not right now because of COVID, but I'm thinking something uh, is going to come back, some iteration of Fast Pass. Uh, so you can also mm-hmm. get advanced Fast Pass reservations and advanced dining reservations by staying on property. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. You, if you don't stay on property, you can still get, uh, or could still get, uh, an advanced fast pass and dining reservations. You just don't have as long of a window, uh, so mm-hmm. you can start or could start booking fast passes sixty days prior uh, to mm-hmm. check in, where you know the normies would only get thirty. Days. <laughs> so by that time, all the good fast passes are gone. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You could even like switch them up a few times if you wanted to before you know the 30 day window. Right. Exactly. Uh, and you also get, which I think this still works and is going to be tied either to the, my Disney experience app, or I believe your magic band, uh, is the mm-hmm. photo pass photographers. Yes. Yeah, so we experienced that the last time we went, you know, just a couple weeks ago, um, that at the end of a ride. So example would be, um, the Buzz Lightyear ride mm-hmm. in Tomorrowland at magic kingdom. Um, Buzz Lightyear so space cool. ranger spin. You're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. How dare you? <laughs> You're right. You're so right. Yeah. So we we got off at the end and it's like, oh my gosh, there's our picture. Tee hee. You know, Audrey's crying. Zoe's having a blast. Whatever. <laughs> All right. We, <laughs> you just put your magic band. They have like the little Mickey ear symbols on the bottom uh, by each row of the pictures. You just slide your magic band right there and it basically like absorbs that picture into your file or whatever and you can view it on the app immediately. It's awesome. And I believe this is uh, new and I'm not sure if it's live in every single resort, but at when you get back to your room now, you can actually see your photo pass pictures on the TV in your room. Oh my gosh, see that? I didn't even know, but that makes complete sense. Yeah, it's I'm not so sure if it's been upgraded to every resort. I know that it started when they opened... Uh, the towers at Coronado Springs, the Gran Estino towers, uh, that's when it started. Uh So it might not, yeah, it might not be available (laughs) in every resort, but definitely, uh, definitely ask about it when you book your reservation. Cause I think that's pretty neat to be able to go back to your room and already start reminiscing about all the fun you had that day. Exactly. Exactly. Oh yeah. And did we mention that the magic bands come with the hotel stay? I don't know if we said that. (laughs) Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if we did. I was so excited about it that I was just like magic bands. Right. (laughs) <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to clarify. Yeah, they come, like come complimentary with your stay. It's so special. Mm-hmm. Uh, another 
Another thing <laughs> that you get is if you are a shopper uh, while you're on your vacation, uh, resort guests don't have to lug around all their park purchases. Someone else mm -hmm. will actually handle those for you uh, and will bring mm -hmm. them back to your room or your hotel. So incredible. Yeah. Love it. Love that. <laughs> uh, I'm not a huge shopper, but I've had uh, I've had some help before where I'm like, just leave it up front for me, sport. Uh, and they, they take care of that for you. I love it. Uh, so let's talk about a few of the, I think, logistical things that make staying on property really special. Uh, so first would be the extra extra magic hours that you get, uh, which is either early theme park entry or late theme park stays. Have you ever gotten mm -hmm. a chance to uh, use the extra magic hours? Yeah. So the funny thing is, like, with the two kids, it's usually hard to get in early. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> because getting out of the room can be a little chaotic. Mm -hmm. But I want to say one or two times we have been able to get earlier to the park um, because of those extra magic hours. And let me tell you, you can fit a lot into that first hour yep. if you get there with a whole hour ahead of time before the main rush gets there. Oh, my gosh. All the lines are shorter. Like, you can just navigate easier because you can you don't have to worry about fighting through a crowd or anything. Like you can really fit a couple of things into that hour, which is really nice. Yeah. Especially if you're really wanting to get on one particular attraction, you know, you can make a, and you didn't get a fast pass or like right yeah. now they're not utilizing fast pass. You can just make a beeline for that attraction, yeah. you know? So first you're doing the rope yeah. drop and then you get extra magic hours on top of that. Uh, so even yeah. if there is a little bit of a line, cause there's probably gonna be other people uh, with that same uh, train of thought, you're mm -hmm. definitely going to be able to get on it that day, which sometimes, you yeah. know, you might not be able to. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, and I got to use all the tools in your arsenal. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. Uh, and I also love being able to stay late. And I think that some uh, of the parks are a completely different experience at night and almost mm -hmm. kind of morph the park uh, into something different. So I think of like Animal mm -hmm. Kingdom and Pandora, yeah. you know, to have oh the opportunity yeah. to stay there late when not a lot of other people uh, are able to and you get to either mm -hmm. take really cool pictures or get to enjoy uh, the scenery in a different way you know i think it's really yeah. fun and let's not forget even though florida is essentially a giant swamp disney has their own ways of controlling the mosquito population so you can stay late and you will not get bitten alive and i could tell you that i didn't know that who is, you didn't know no. oh my god i think that's yeah, the first time know. you've ever taught me something disney before <laughs> Yes, finally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fascinating. I watched this special on it one time, but basically, I don't know exactly how all the science goes, but for some reason, Disney uses chicken to figure out like how to control the mosquito population, and they utilize it at the resorts and in the park. Chickens. So if you Chickens, yeah. I don't know what is the deal. Like, bark, bark, bark. Chickens. <laughs> yeah. Do they eat the mosquitoes, like maybe? If what? Do they eat the mosquitoes? I don't know if they eat the mosquitoes or mosquitoes like to bite them. I don't know what it is. That's why I'm like, I'm a little fuzzy on the science. But I just remember hearing that somehow they Disney has their own like <laughs> livestock that they use. <laughs> and yeah, they use them to learn about like how to control the mosquito population. So as someone who can speak from experience being a legitimate mosquito magnet and getting eaten alive anytime <laughs> the sun goes down anywhere uh -huh. else in Florida... Disney is the one place that's like, if you pay attention, you will not, uh, you will notice that you are not getting bitten up. I'm wow. Sure that's that incredible. Nice. That's a great, Very uh, pleasant. that's a nice tip. So you don't need to worry about bringing yeah. that mosquito, uh, repellent. Um, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Leave the D at home. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, an another, uh, great selling point, I think, especially if you're trying to map out how much certain things are going to cost you every day. You know, uh, mm -hmm. especially if you're mm -hmm. traveling with a big group or on a tight budget, uh, you get mm -hmm. free transportation to and from the airport uh, if you're coming mm -hmm. into Kissimmee by plane. Uh, but you mm -hmm. also get free transportation uh, around to the parks. And then mm -hmm. you also uh, don't have to pay that parking fee at the parks. Mm -hmm. So the theme park yeah. parking, it seems like it goes up every day. Uh, every time I go, yeah. I'm like, my <laughs> freaking goodness, it is expensive. Uh, so right now it's $25 for each car to park. Uh, and then if you go to preferred parking, I think it goes uh, almost double to from there. Uh, so mm -hmm. you save that that way. You also don't have to buy or excuse me, um, 
rent an Uber or anything on uh, your way from the airport. You don't really need to worry about if, if you're not venturing off Disney property, you know, you have Disney Springs, you have all the different resorts and, and their restaurants, you know, you, you don't really have to ever leave uh, Walt mm-hmm. Disney World Resort and you're getting all that complimentary transportation. So whether, yeah. whether that's a bus or the monorail or uh, the Skyliner, there's plenty of mm-hmm. ways to get around. Yeah, which there are so many benefits to that because I think people are like, oh, well, it's roughly the same cost to park as it would be for like the resort, for, you know, parking fee or whatever. But really, if you think about it, say you want to drink around the world at Epcot and you don't want to uh, drive I do. home, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> which I will. <laughs> because you obviously want to be safe. You go ahead, you have a great time and you take that bus on back to your resort. Yeah. Or, you know, just the trauma of trying to find your car at the end of the day sometimes with <laughs> Two screaming, yes. try, you know, like as, as someone who takes, you know, two screaming, crying kids at the end of the day, I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave, you know, and you're trying to find your car on top of it. That's no fun, friend. So <laughs> right. do yourself a favor, take the bus. The kids love the bus ride. That the first time we took Zoe to Disney, that was her favorite part. Like, as oh my much gosh, money yeah, as me spent, too. I loved the bus yeah. when I was little. Well, fun, you know, it's, it's a trip. <laughs> yeah, there's also minivans if you want a little bit more private of an experience. Uh, if you download the Lyft app, uh, you can get yourself a minivan, uh, which <laughs> is literally just what it sounds like. It's a big van uh, that's uh, painted with like Minnie Mouse uh, de- decorations all over it. Uh, and what's cool about minivans, especially if you're traveling with someone that maybe is handy capable and not uh, necessarily... Uh, able to walk large distances because the the buses will drop you off relatively close to the gate. Uh, But the minivans Mm -hmm. are actually going to be able to get you in uh, the closest uh, when you're talking about parks and certain um, venues than anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So just a pro Mm -hmm. tip there. Uh, If you got a little (laughs) extra money to spend. Uh, And then I've got two more on the benefits. And then if you have any honorable mentions, let me know. Uh, I think location, location, location. Mm -hmm. If you're staying on Walt Disney (laughs) World Resort property, especially depending on, you know, which resorts you're staying at. Like you mentioned drinking around the world. I don't know if you know this or not. uh, But if you Uh stay at Disney's uh, Beach Club or the Yacht and Beach Club, Uh you can actually walk from the resort <laughs> pool to the world showcase. Stop. I did not know that. Yes. Uh, for See, a nominal thing. fee uh, of staying <laughs> at the beach club. It's definitely uh, one of the deluxe resorts. But man, if you've got the money, yeah, uh, mm-hmm. you can literally walk out of the pool, walk over, mm-hmm. kind of drops you uh, by the UK pavilion. Go ahead and on into the Rose mm-hmm. and Crown. Get yourself an Irish breakfast. Uh, you'll thank me <laughs> later. And then you walk back to the pool and you're good to go. I mean, are you kidding me? That's so legit. Right. So how's that for location? You know, you don't have to worry about tra- Orlando traffic, uh, you know, yeah. schlepping the kids in and out of the car, uh, any yeah. of the Magic Kingdom resort areas, especially anything on the monorail loop, uh, like, mm-hmm. you know, the Contemporary or the Polynesian. I mean, you can't yeah. put a price on saving time so on vacation. Yeah. Or like getting lost. I mean, people come from all over the world to Disney, you mm-hmm. know, I mean, you want to... It's so you want the convenience of just like okay, point A to point B, easy. Yep, nice. Totally agree. <laughs> uh, and this yeah. one is important, I think, depending on the time of year or if you're considering the time of year. Uh, if you visit during the holidays, like the winter holidays, mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. parks and the resorts are completely redone from top to bottom. Yes. Uh- so fun. I mean, I think it's it's almost worth, which we've done a couple of times, even if you're not staying on a property, to, to just resort hop around the holidays because each property yeah. will have like a different uh, gingerbread house or Christmas tree or, you know, special yeah. activities that they're doing that you can participate yeah. in. So I think that's a plus as well. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Uh, <laughs> did we miss anything on the benefits that you wanted to touch on? Um. So, yeah. So especially you know coming from the place you know hey cool mom here i'm traveling (laughs) with the kids and the whole family um one of the kids favorite things is always the pools yes so the resort pools are amazing um uh, we typically stay at the moderate resorts so a lot of those actually have like water slides at their pools Mm -hmm. um so some to name uh the coronado spring has the nice like Mayan temple that has the big old water slide that comes down. <laughs> yes. Um, and the arguably Lee. one of the best pools uh, in the collection, if not oh, yeah. especially uh, the moderate collection. 
Yeah. It, Very oh underrated. So, so fun. The kids love it. Oh, and I don't know if others may know this, but I, I actually had forgotten when we went back this time around, they have a uh, free life vests and stuff for your kids too. So if they're little and they need like little swimmies, they got those. Um, and the big, uh, the big vest for the kids, they have all different sizes. So you don't have to worry about like trying to stuff that into your suitcase. It's already there at the pool. So super nice. Oh, that's kids nice. Grab their little, yeah. They grab their little life vest. So we ran up, you know, the stairs, went down the slide a number of times. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine how many times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just see little red pearls flying down the pool. I'm like, okay, we're, we're good. There's the there right. So yeah, definitely check out the pools at the resorts. They're amazing. They're all themed. Um, the Port Orleans French Quarter has an amazing, like, serpent slide. Um, super fun. That one and the, the Riverside Connect, and they both have cool pools. So, yeah, definitely that's a, a point of interest. And they do the movies under the stars, right? That's or, right. Or, yes, they do do movies yeah. under the stars. Um, so often, I mean, you have to check which nights they're doing it or what times they're doing it. But I'm pretty sure all the Disney resorts actually do this. Like even the Valley Resort, um, they do the movies by the pool, which is so fun. Especially in summertime where it's so warm at night. You guys like just go get some food or snacks, whatever, dessert. Go sit by the pool, watch a Disney movie. It is so fun. So that's one of my favorite parts and definitely the kids' favorite parts about staying at the resort. Yeah, you know, and yeah. if you, I think if you do it right, uh, depending mm -hmm. on how long you're staying, between Disney Springs and the resorts themselves, you don't even have to go to a park. I think there's, you don't. there's I, value in just buying yourself, a, you know, like going for a long weekend and just having a blast. Yeah. yeah, and we've definitely done that where we spend a couple days like just at the resort because there's so much to do. Every time we go, we find something new, especially, you know, when you're – trying out different resorts each time but like the restaurants are amazing um you can do character breakfast at, on on site at some of the resorts um like chef mickey's you can go to um we had a reservation but during covid it got canceled no! so we still, <laughs> we still have not been able to get into chef mickey's but one of these days <laughs> i've been dying yeah and I know the kids want to go. they so, also yeah. do uh i know you love Cor coronado at to topolino's terrace Blino's Terrace. Yeah. Uh, they'll do mm -hmm. a character meal. I'm not sure if it's breakfast, uh, but yeah. they're dressed up like artists. So Mickey's oh and Minnie God. are like covered in paint and stuff. It's really cute. That's adorable. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's the other thing too. All of the the resorts will have like Mickey Mouse waffles, you know, stuff like that. Little things to just get the kids excited at the start of the day. So little touches. Yeah. A little more magic. Little little hidden <laughs> Mickeys everywhere. Uh so yeah, so yeah. let's so I think you you're right. The pools are <laughs> one of the best things and uh each one has its own sort of theming and so I think that's the perfect uh segue to move into the different tiers of resort uh and some of the yeah. things that you'll get. So when you look at the value resorts um, you know, we have, let's run through the list here. We have Disney all-star movies, Disney all-star music, all-star sports, Disney's art of animation, uh, Disney's mm -hmm. pop century, and then the campsites mm -hmm. at Fort Wilderness. So I yeah. think you said you've never stayed at a value resort, Miss Boozy? I actually have not. Wow. I know, can you stay at like, I, I will not stay at a value <laughs> resort. <laughs> I swear I've had reservations like one or two times and then I always end up like seeing a moderate resort for like ten dollars more night. I'm like, okay, I'll stay at the moderate. Values gross. I have to go to the moderates. <laughs> I've heard very good things though yes. about the value resort. So I have stayed at the value resorts before. Uh I've stayed I love Pop Century. Uh that was oh. one that was really built around um you know, like the Imagineers idea of what different things were like through the years. Uh, some of the original intention behind what was going into the resorts and the way that they got used uh, because of the recession got pulled back a little bit, but it's still a really uh, interesting place to stay. Yeah. So I think that's fun. Uh, they, the, I don't know if they, all of the values have it. I believe that all of the values have it. Uh, they have like these, food courts that you can go to uh for meals rather than like the the oh, moderates yeah. and the deluxe resorts have the fancier uh sit down places and you can get yeah. you can get really crazy so last time i was yeah. at pop century <laughs> uh for breakfast i they have like a, a waffle you know not station is the right word but if you picture like a mall food court you know there's gonna be like different yeah. uh, you know places that you can walk up and order uh so i got myself a breakfast waffle like a big hot mickey waffle uh and then yeah. i went over to the ice cream 
uh, <laughs> section and have them put a scoop of ice cream on there. So when you're in Disney, really anything goes. Uh, and you yeah. can deluxe it up even if you're staying at a value resort. I love it. Uh, I think another one uh, that's really worth staying at, especially if you have little kids, is Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Uh, so it's really yeah. cool because they have gigantic um tributes to different movies all across the property so there's giant like little mm -hmm. mermaid uh statues there's 101 dalmatians uh which to me like if you're a little kid looking up at you know giant dalmatians <laughs> it's pretty awesome uh and they also right. have the largest pool on property i've heard that yeah, yeah. It's uh, awesome. it's home to what's called the Big Blue Pool, which holds oh. over 308,000 gallons of water uh, <laughs> and is themed after Finding Nemo. Uh, also, if you dive underwater, they have little sounds playing where you can actually hear Nemo and Dory talking while you swim. Stop. Uh, yeah. I knew they had something like magical about the pool, but I couldn't remember what it was. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty sweet. And there's, you know, so there's you're not missing out on those uh, special little touches uh you mm -hmm. also yeah. have disney's all-star movie resort which is pretty fun uh there's a place called uh the roxy in their world premiere food court where if you ask to take a look at their secret menu this is a pro tip uh they'll give you one of those old-fashioned like view masters you know where you like click the the thing on the side and you look through it, it's like almost like little, Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, and the menu oh, is cool. the current menu selections are actually, you look through them in the view master. So that's pretty fun. That's awesome. Yeah. So don't say we <laughs> never taught you anything. Uh, and then you have the campsites <laughs> at Fort wilderness, uh, which so, you know, the wilderness lodge is a deluxe resort, but they have campsites on mm -hmm. Fort wilderness resort where you can, literally just pitch a tent. I think it's like 90 yeah. bucks a night. Uh, and then you get that little lot, uh, or you can bring in an RV, you know, uh, you can go glamping if you want. Uh, so you're essentially yeah, renting the campsite from them. Mm -hmm. yeah, and they have all the yeah. hookups like electricity and water and all that stuff. So you're not, you're I'm not really people. roughing it, <laughs> yeah. you know, but it's fun. Yeah. Uh, and then mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna take a we're gonna take a stop at Lauren's Moderate Resorts here. So we have uh, Disney's Caribbean Beach, Coronado Springs, Port Orleans, French Quarter, and Riverside. Uh, mm -hmm. The cabins at Fort Wilderness Resort, and I think that mm -hmm. is all of them. So I know that. Yeah. So you stayed at almost all of these. Which one's your favorite? Yeah. Moderate. So I've stayed at all of them except the cabins, which is still on my to-do list. Uh, yeah, that would be fun to get a big group um, and go into the cabins, yeah. especially in the winter that's time. The thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well, and there's so much to do on Fort Wilderness property. So we've actually done a lot of the things on property there. So I guess we could start there. Um, Fort Wilderness has my favorite um, Disney Resort restaurant there. It's called the Trails End Restaurant. It's a buffet of like Southern country homestyle cooking. Mm -hmm. um, and like I always know food. when you're there because I get uh, an abundance <laughs> of pictures of like the cornbread and the fried chicken <laughs> and the mashed potatoes. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. It is so much food. And honestly, for like Disney prices and like the amount of food you can eat there, it's really not badly priced at all. So if you go, you know, with the family, especially if you have heavy eaters with you or big, uh, big eaters that are inspired on the trip, definitely go there. <laughs> you will not be disappointed. The food is so good. The desserts are so good. Um, even their drinks. I, I got some kind of strawberry cocktail the last time I was there and it was amazing. And it has such comfort food. So like for those of you who have small children, you know, uh, kids can be very picky eaters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So the sad part about going to restaurants sometimes is you order them even what they said they wanted, which, oh, I want a cheeseburger, I want this, <laughs> right. I want that. You can literally get them exactly what they said they wanted, and they'll take one bite, and they're like, mm, I don't like it, or, ooh, I don't want to eat this anymore. <laughs> right. And you're just French like, OMG, oh, child. Right. Yeah, <laughs> going to force feed you. So the nice part about going to the buffet, you know, of course, they have the kids' prices, and then they can eat whatever they want. So if they want one bite of mac and cheese and then one bite of fruit, whatever it is, it's, it's a nice crowd pleaser for sure. Like we never leave there with anyone unsatisfied. Everyone's eating their fill and eating, like tried a bunch of things. Like it's wonderful. So definitely recommend the trail's end. Um, I know, what is it? The hoopty do review? Hoopty do musical review. The longest yeah. <laughs> running dinner show in the United States of America. What? Yeah. 
Oh my god. Yep. That's all awesome. closed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, so it's actually right. temporarily closed right now because of COVID. Oh, uh, but dang. yes, always a crowd pleaser. Uh, you get to like mm-hmm. bang on, you know, pots and pans while you're in there. You know, there's uh, musical so sing alongs uh, and also all you can eat fried chicken, which I've heard is some of the best Yum. fried chicken you'll ever get. Oh my gosh. See, we, th- so the trails end and the Hoopty Doo Review are right next door to each other. So the funny thing about like, you know, you make your reservation, you wait outside, you hear all this noise coming from in there. And, <laughs> and you're like, I want to so be cool. in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, again, that's all, definitely on the to-do list. But yeah, I'm like, it sounds so fun. So those are right next door. And what we like to do either before or after dinner with the kids is they have a playground like just adjacent to this restaurant area. The kids love it. They play around on there. They have like a smaller kid. Um, type park like I want to say it's like a tot lot or something and then you have the bigger kid park and then they also have surprise visitors they have their Clydesdales walking around that's right um, so, yeah so the kids get to see the horses and it's just like it's something to do like for a couple hours it's really fun you know you go eat a great meal you see the horses you walk around like there's so much to see and do so we definitely um, you know like I said plan on staying there one day but we've definitely done this stuff on site Um but we have, yeah, so the others, the other moderate resorts, Port Orleans, uh, awesome New Orleans type vibe, feel the music, the food, everything is wonderful there. There's so much to see, like when you walk around, uh, like I mentioned before, the pools are amazing. And the cool thing about the Port Orleans resorts is they're connected. So if you stay at one, you can go to the other and like, it's nothing. You don't have to drive. You don't have to take a bus, nothing. You just go and enjoy both of them. So it's kind of a two for one there. Super fun. Um, and if you are staying at the Riverside or the you know the French Quarter and you want to hop over to the Riverside, um, the resort uh, restaurant in there, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but they have like the best jambalaya ever. <laughs> Is it like so the like, Sasagula Float Works or something? Or maybe that's where you get dessert. That sounds I forget, right. I forget it, well, what it is. It's the one that has like the giant uh, like wheel outside. Like yeah, the, I think like it might be the Sasagula style. Float Works. Yeah, it, it, it's so cool. So it's like right on the water. You got the big giant like wheel spinner there. It's like it just is such a vibe. Like it's such a good feeling. Like just walking around and seeing all this stuff. So love it there too. Can't say enough good things about that resort. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, I was right. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say that sounds really right. I remember probably I couldn't remember because I couldn't pronounce it. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So there's that. But everyone, like, just like anywhere else in Disney, like, everyone at each specific place is dressed for that place. So it's yes. really cool. You know, you kind of get transported to, like, a different time, a different uh, location. It's really fun. Yeah. Once you um, get to the moderate resorts, the theming is just insane. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's incredible. Like, everything down to the touches, obviously, in the rooms, the stuff on your TV. Like, oh, my gosh, everything. Yeah. Um, so then there's a Caribbean beach, which um, is in, just like it sounds like you feel like you're at a, a Caribbean beach, um, like just in general, like it's got the, the nice Caribbean music. They have these artificial beaches that have perfect white sand, gorgeous. The kids can go and play in the sand. They have hammocks, like strategically placed like on the beaches near the pool. It's gorgeous, nice and sunny. Um definitely a lot of walking at that resort and probably most of the moderate resorts. Right. Um, so definitely a pro tip. Um, if you want to be near the bus stops or you want to be near the lobby um, or, you know, you want to be near the pool, make sure you make that known to a cast member, um, like via customer service. Like you want to go ahead and call ahead of time. Um, so you can pick what what's most important to you. So because mm-hmm. if you don't, you're going to be doing a lot more walking than you'd like. Yeah, um, that's a good tip. But yeah, because yeah, the resorts are just humongous. I mean, they're literally like theme parks in and of themselves. They're they're incredible. But it's beautiful, and like we were saying, it's super themed. Um, but yeah, definitely let them know ahead of time where you want to be. Um, but yeah, getting up to my favorite though, so the Coronado Springs. Yes. <laughs> As you know, I've been there like three, four times. I don't know. <laughs> it's my favorite. It's the one we keep going back to. Um, I don't know when they remodeled it, when they added like the towers. This is probably like three years ago, I want to say. Yeah, yeah. It is so gorgeous. Like it, it's supposed to be like inspired by like ancient Mayan, like Southwest vibes. Um, that's why they have, you know, the pyramid pool. And a lot of their art deco style, like, it, it's just, like, you get, like, the Barcelona vibe. I don't know. Like, it's 
it's really cool. Um, so you walk in and there are like the lanterns that like have the multicolor rainbow lights behind them that change. Mm-hmm. They have the towers. Everything's so automated. If you go and you're staying in the towers, um, they have like six elevators and you press the button and it'll tell you like which elevator to go to. And they have the hidden Mickeys all over the paintings. Like it's just beautiful. You have to look up pictures of it. Um, but that is our favorite because their pool is amazing. The food. Oh my gosh. We stay, we, um, or we went to rather the grill there. I can't, I can't remember if it was like Ray's Grill, something like that. The food, oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> Over the top. But anyways, and the views and everything, uh, yeah, that that would be our boat from the modern resorts. I love all of them, but the Coronado Springs is my favorite. And uh, if you walk over to the Barcelona Lounge on the lower level of like the main lobby area, mm-hmm. um, go get yourself a hookup. I got like some kind of mocha frappuccino-ish kind of drink. Mm. And the guy was so nice. The kids were, you know, being crazy, running around, jumping on the chairs. And um, he was like, I'm so sorry for your weight. Do you want a free pastry for them? I'm like, my weight? I've been yeah. here for like 30 seconds. <laughs> He's Well, to him, it felt like an eternity. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, um, done? Yes. Of course. So we had a great experience. I'm sipping on my cold drink. The kids have a treat. They filled up my water bottles to the park. Like, I highly recommend the Barcelona Lounge. Great experience. <laughs> Yeah, I can't say enough good things about Coronado Springs. Love it. Definitely recommend you go there. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you could make a bad decision in uh, the moderate resorts, you know, but uh, yeah. definitely Coronado, especially with the addition of the Grandestino Towers, which is actually uh, based off Walt Disney's and Salvador Dali's relationship. So that's why you have a lot of that um, oh. Art Deco uh, sort of stuff going on yeah. uh, in the, mm-hmm. you know, the Spanish cuisine. Um, but yeah. you know, I think, okay. you know, the food at all the moderate resorts is going to be great. You also have a uh, yeah. scat cats club in, uh, uh, Port Orleans, uh, French quarter where you can get beignets. There's beignets everywhere on, on the yeah. Port Orleans, uh, side, mm-hmm. but at scat cats, you can actually get beignets that are infused with alcohol. Oh <laughs> yeah. So they put like literally like a little, uh, not like a, like a plastic syringe in the side of it and just like squirt alcohol into it. Uh, so you can't go wrong there. <laughs> And then, like you said, uh, I think if you're looking for amenities, uh, the cabins at Fort Wilderness are going to be the way to go. Not only can you yeah, pack a lot so of people much. into the cabins, uh, but gosh, mm-hmm. you can go horseback riding, you can do archery, you can mm-hmm. rent a boat and go bass fishing. I mean, th- there's literally mm-hmm. uh, the list goes on at stuff you can do. Uh, but mm-hmm. even though uh, I think that for me, it's a little out of my price range. Uh, we're not shopping <laughs> with our wallets here. Uh, let's let's <laughs> let's move into the deluxe resorts. <laughs> yeah 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 so for deluxe resorts we have uh disney's animal kingdom lodge uh the beach club resort the boardwalk Inn, the contemporary the grand floridian and then um one of my favorites disney's polynesian <laughs> village resort so yeah. literally so if you thought you loved the moderate resorts and their theming, the deluxe resorts <laughs> literally like transport you to another world. Uh, so if you look at Disney's Animal Kingdom, I'd say that's probably uh, the most uh, famous, I guess, maybe you can say, uh, of the deluxe resorts because you have the savannas where you actually have animals uh, from the mm-hmm. African savanna walking around the property. So you can wake up. And see giraffes out your window. Uh, You can go even, you know, if you're not staying there and eat at one of the restaurants like uh, Sanaa or uh, Jumbo House. And you look out the window and there's like freaking zebras and gazelles running around. You know, it's it's that (laughs) level of uh, immersion. And then at uh, the Beach Club and uh, the Boardwalk Inn, you take that resort style pool to the next level. It's basically like a water park. It's 2.5 <laughs> acres of pool. Uh, you have uh, there a sand bottom pool. So you can literally Ooh. walk into it and it's got actual sand uh, on the bottom Love. of the pool. Yeah. So especially if you're not from Florida uh, or some, mm-hmm. somewhere where you can't swim and you want that kind of like beach vibe, uh, Central Florida is landlocked. There's no beaches. So that's uh, one of the closest <laughs> ways to get to a beach. Uh, and then there, there's also going to be a lot more amenities. So I have, I love the boardwalk. Have you ever gotten a chance to walk around the boardwalk? I think one time we did. Yeah. It's huge. It's so gigantic. Huge. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's worth, uh, like going for an evening, 
uh, and yeah. go, walking around the boardwalk. So there's a place you can get ice cream called Beaches and Cream where you can get like a mm. kitchen sink sundae where they use an entire can <laughs> of whipped cream. You have to split it with like 15 people. Uh, <laughs> there's uh, Jelly Rolls, which is one of my free- favorites. It's like a dueling mm-hmm. piano bar. Uh, where, mm-hmm. you know, like any dueling piano bar, you go and you request, request songs and you sing along, but they also do a lot of Disney tunes, which you're in Disney, uh, so you can yeah. enjoy that. Uh, what else is in there? Uh, there's like the dance hall. There's uh, a bar called Abracadab Bar where you <laughs> get all sorts of magical cocktails that like change color and smoke and taste cool. And uh, so that's so- fun. Uh, and then, uh, you know, you have the Wilderness Lodge, you know, the deluxe um, rooms, and you have the Polynesian Resort. I think the the draw there for me is, you know, the beach outside. Uh, you can actually watch fireworks from the beach uh, at the Polynesian mm-hmm. Resort when they're doing fireworks over the Magic Kingdom. And there's my... I, so... I've got I've got two favorite Walt Disney World lounges. Uh, one is at the Polynesian. One is at Animal Kingdom. But the one at the Polynesian, I think if you're only going to go to one, that's where you have to go. It's Trader Sam's Gra- Grotto. Have you ever been to Trader no. Sam's Gra- oh, Grotto? Oh, I have had the pleasure. Oh my gosh, it, 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 pleasure is an understatement. Uh, so, do you know who Trader Sam is? I, okay, I think is this the place with like the thunder and the volcano? Yes. Yes, yeah, I know. I'm aware of it. Okay, so tra- Trader Sam, uh, you'll see him on the Jungle Cruise. Uh, he's like the <laughs> witch doctor that you see at the end of the cruise, and he collects all sorts of antiquities and uh, you know different things across his travels, and a lot of them make themselves a home uh, at Trader Sam's Grog Grotto. Uh, so it's essentially a tiki bar. Uh, but it's yeah. the most magical tiki bar you'll ever be in. Uh, I don't want to give it all away, uh, but mm-hmm. you'll see things like volcanoes erupting. You know, every drink that you order uh, comes with its own like special effects show. It's a completely wild <laughs> experience. I mean, if you go there for an hour, first of all, you're going to be annihilated because uh, tiki drinks are strong. Uh, but you're gonna, you're just going to have so much fun. The whole the whole um, you know the whole place gets into it. It's a blast. Uh, yep, and then so uh, my other favorite Disney lounge is at uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom Kadani Village at Sanaa. Have you ever been to Sanaa? No, I still haven't been there yet either. Oh, so the, Sanaa so makes good. a great uh, date night. I don't know if, unless you have a really adventurous uh, child that <laughs> will eat yeah. anything, uh, you know, uh, I don't know if that's going to be the best place for them. If you go to Boma, I think it's called Boma. Uh, at Jumbo House, that they have that buffet style, so that's where yeah. you know you can try Definitely things out really if good. they don't like it. Yeah, but Sanaa, they have a bread service that I'm pretty sure I've told you about, <laughs> uh, where they uh, yeah. yeah they come out with <laughs> like nine different sauces, ten if you ask for the special one. Uh, they range mm. uh, from mild to increasingly uh, spicy, and mm-hmm. all different nons. Like fresh hot nuns right from their uh, tandoori (laughs) oven. And like we'll literally just go and get the bread service and a couple of drinks and we're completely satisfied. And it's an experience, you know. Uh, You get to try all sorts of uh, African flavors. They have a gigantic collection of African wines and the largest collection of African art outside of Africa. So you can just walk around. Uh, it's almost like a museum. You know, you look at the art, you watch the animals on yeah. the savannah, have a couple drinks, and th- there's your date night right there. That's what I love about the resort. Like, they're just an experience. Like, even if you went for one night, like you said, like a date night or something, and you had like a special occasion, like an anniversary, whatever. You're just like, hey, we want to go experience this, plan ahead, whatever. Like, you will have a whole experience of, you know, Africa, of Port Orleans, of, you know, or New Orleans, rather. You know, like, whatever, the Caribbean beach. Like, oh, my gosh, you just are transported. You absolutely are. Yeah, well, now I, f- I need a vacation. I'm like, why am I here yeah. and not at a resort? Uh, <laughs> you're, you'll That's also, so you know, uh, I think I think if we've 
done anything that we've showcased that we're only scratching the surface of all there is to do at these resorts. Yeah. Uh, there's yeah. world-class dining that we haven't even touched on. There's, there's yeah. amazing spas, uh, golf mm. courses. There is just so much that you can do at Walt Disney World. And Resort. so many secrets. And so yeah. many secrets. And we're here to help uncover all of them for you. Uh, so whether <laughs> you stay on property or not, uh, the Disney resorts are worthy of a trip in and of themselves, whether it's for the fine dining, the unique scenery and amenities or the one of a kind experiences. So thanks Lauren uh, for being on today. Of course. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. You know, I love talking Disney. Yes. I love talking Disney too. And I hope you guys liked <laughs> listening to us uh, talk about Disney resorts uh, for an hour. And we thank you so much for tuning in to just a podcast in paradise. We're happy that you took time out of your day to hang out with us. We'd love it if you would subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And be sure to leave us a five-star review if you enjoyed your time. If you're looking for a way to show us some love and copies of every week's cocktail recipe, check out our Patreon so we can continue to work hard to make your next Florida vacation the most memorable trip that you've ever had. You can also follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Just Take a Dip for daily updates on what's happening around Florida. And check out our YouTube channel, Just a Day in Paradise, for destination ideas, restaurant reviews, unboxing things you might want to take on your next trip, and copycat recipes from some of our favorite places in paradise. We're wishing you a little bit of sunshine and magic wherever you are. And we hope to see you in paradise soon. Say goodbye, Lauren. Bye. Bye. (laughs) All right, now we need to plan a Disney trip. Right? Right? Oh, my God. Let's get a lodge. Yeah, seriously. I'm like, um, well, I've only been gone for three weeks and I want to go back. I know. Oh, we didn't even talk about Chippendale's campfire sing-along. Oh, my. See, I was like, I knew crap. I knew there was going to be stuff. Yeah, there's.